This view in rural Nevada County, where the treetops touch the sky, can only be seen from Greg Webster's backyard. But it's what's in front of him that he's most excited about right now. This is just phenomenal. It's park-like, you know. I was thinking about building a bench down there for, you know, just to go and sit and ruminate. His private place to sit and reflect wasn't always this way. Well, this entire area was basically impassable by foot. You couldn't walk. I mean, I hadn't even seen much of my property and uh, it was solid as could be. The land was packed with dense brush like manzanita until Greg signed on to a new program in the county called the Ponderosa West Grass Valley Defense Zone Project, where crews set out across 1,200 acres of private and public land to cut back fire fuels with nearby Grass Valley in mind. The native vegetation would be so dense here that if a fire ever got started, it'd be almost impossible to stop that fire. Cal Fire Division Chief Jim Mathias says this kind of work gives firefighters a new fighting angle. So what we do is we create uh, an area of bare mineral soil similar to a road or a fuel break where we can light fire back towards the main fire and slow the head of that fire down before it gets there. For all the excitement and positivity around this project, there is some concern in the county that some homeowners just refuse to participate. There's still those properties out there that refuse to become involved, which to me endangers the community as a whole. Nevada County Supervisor Dan Miller. For them just to I could say, no, you can't come on my property, uh, makes me question, uh, you know, their, their commitment to the community. The project, fully funded at no cost to homeowners, utilizes resources from the California Native Plant Society, Cal Fire, and Fire Safe Council to customize the work on each property, the kind that can reveal unseen beauty and provide peace of mind. I'm greatly relieved that if there is a fire, we've got some very defensible space. In Nevada County, Max Resnick, KCRA 3 News.